So for the past few days, I've been procrastinating about a build that I could make in Voxelblade. Specifically something that wouldn't get nerfed too hard in the future, something that doesn't generally rely on dexterity, very fun to run, and uses the blasters. And after testing builds here and there, I think I found it. This right here is what I like to call the Exploding Starlight Spellslinger build, or for short, a terrorist. I would like to be a, a terrorist. <laughs> and I'll explain why it's called terrorist later on. But this chaotic build includes the following. Dark Elf Race, 5 Spellslinger armor pieces, 1 Rev armor piece, the Bumble Glove, and the one and only Tier 5 Starlight Essence. Now, before I show you guys what this build can do, let me get into what each component does and how you could get them. So first of all, we have the Dark Elf Race. This race will be picked at the customization of your character at the start and and it gives a slight chance to proc any debuff in the game when hitting any enemy with your M1s, M2s, or abilities. Meaning, something that comes out at a quick fire rate, pause, will most likely have a higher chance of procking a debuff. And those debuffs can range from burning, slowness, armor penetration, poison, and much more. Next, we'll have the spell slinger armor pieces. In total, you'll be needing 5 of them. 2 enchanted with magic, and 3 normally crafted. And yes, I said crafted because they are confined within crafting, so... If you don't have your crafting level up, I suggest you do, just generally, and if you want to make this build. From there, you'll be needing those two enchanteds equipped on your body, while the other three will be infused in the infuser machines. And if you don't know what infusion does, and how it works, and where to find them, I have the video on my channel, so go check that out. It goes in-depth with it, and it shows you the locations as well. But this armor set will provide you the following. Speed, dexterity, warding, magic boost, and the spell slinger buff. And what the spell slinger buff does, well, it basically takes a percentage of your magic, and converts it into a crit chance which is very nice if you're not working off the dexterity too much and moving on the final armor piece you'll be needing in this set is the rev armor piece and it should be sufficient enough to only have one because it'll give you speed dexterity engine jump and warding and basically what engine does it will scale off of the amount of speed you have in your build giving you a higher attack speed and to get any of these pieces you're gonna have to either trade with other people or obtain them through brilliant presence which is fairly expensive and hard to get so good luck if you're trying to do that and finally let's get into customizing your weapon all right so i'm at the fountain right now let me go ahead and show you guys how to customize this weapon and of course some requirements before i say this is the blasters and monk you'll need monk because if you don't have monk you will not be able to dual wield it just like me you know dual wielding is the best part of having a guns yo you're shooting two guns at the same time is the best part so get monk uh plus you get like a bunch of advantages for resistances and uh less negative debuffs uh negative from there the thing that you will need i explained this earlier but the bomber gloves i'll put the trello in the description if you want any information on the game it's it, pretty sure it keeps getting updated so it's very nice and if you need information on the paths for this it's in the trello so just look out for that uh but basically the bomber gloves uh right here it scales off of magic and holy mostly off of magic that's why most of my set is uh you know spell slinger and not really like towards the holy side even though holy could be a good damage type of deal i just like the magic because of the spell slinger ability just crit you know crit 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 and since there's crit it goes great on bomb bo bomberator but bomb, bomb i don't know how to pronounce that but basically this ability gives you the um chance to actually explode pause <laughs> but like explode make an explosion you could say so as you can see right here it says all hits have a chance to create an explosion you could receive damage from the explosion but it's reduced it only takes like two damage from you which is nothing at all nothing it, and you only take damage if you're close so if you're not close and you keep your distance which is the reason why you have guns um it, it's overpowered and then if you pair that up with the starlight essence which is right here you could actually get this through the astral presence by upgrading a prism essence with like 100 sp and then once you get the starlight essence the main thing you want from this besides all these nice scalings is of course the starstruck perk this starstruck perk is overpowered when trying to scale with debuffs uh buffs or even the bomb raider so as you can see right here it says all hits right all hits and what starstruck does basically every time i am one it shoots a random star that does random damage and the random damage doesn't really uh, matter all that matters is that the star will hit them meaning that for every m1 i do two hits giving me a higher chance for an explosion just like that look how much damage that did bro that was one m1 and i know this ain't as crazy as like a dexterity build but i'm pretty sure this won't get nerfed all right it's mostly uh you know off of magic and even though there's a rev build uh you know a little bit of dexterity here it, it, even if it that get if, even if that gets nerfed the m1 
damage is still insane. The explosion is amazing. But yeah, that's basically how it works. The more M1 damage you'll do, especially with the right click, the more stars there will be for a higher chance of the explosion. And the explosion actually doubles or triples the amount of damage you do, which is insane. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys a compilation of me using this thing in rifts, dungeons, etc. And I'm not going to be talking because, of course, when I was recording those, it was pre-recorded. Um, I wasn't really talking throughout that, but the damage is pretty nice. I will say that. Okay, so that's basically it for the build review. Honestly, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you like blasters, if you like having a higher fire rate and doing explosives, being a terrorist, as I like to call it, this is this is it. You know, this is this is fun. This is peak gameplay. Shooting at things and it explodes. Who doesn't like that? But yeah, of course, it could be maximized. It could be optimized. It could be minimized. Whatever the hell the word is. Um, since this this probably isn't the best build you can make in terms of what I'm trying to aim for. Something chaotic, right? But with the explosions, with the rapid fire, with the uh, uh, dark elf being able to debuff things it's honestly fairly fine uh, fairly good you know I i'm probably gonna use it as my main just because it has good dexterity it probably won't get nerfed anytime soon even though if like the ref thing doesn't get nerfed i don't think the spell slinger will get nerfed because that's basically a needed passive or needed perk in the game for people who use magic or people who use uh, blasters because blasters honestly right now is very weak i will say that it's very weak uh but other than that um tell me if you guys have things to add on to this tell me if you guys like this whatever uh honestly i I do not care if you like it you like it if you don't make your own thing that's what box is all about anyways but yeah you know i just i just like seeing things explode and one thing i will say uh added on to the fact that you can debuff and it does explosions aoe all that uh you could also heal yourself with the you know with the glove you could just pop a heal 22 hp like that if you have even more holy boost and all that um then boom more healing so you could sustain yourself all the way through but that's basically it i'm gonna end it there and uh yeah